It's clear that Donald Trump supporters will excuse any outrageous statement he makes. We wanted to test their blind loyalty and see if it applied to his family members. So we sent a fake Baron Trump to a Cleveland bookstore. Here's what we learned. Hi, I'm Kelly Kahn at Fox News. We're live in Berea, Ohio. We're going to talk to some people about the release of Baron Trump's new book. What do you think? You're excited to meet Baron? Well, it's a possibility. It could be uh, first family for the United States of America. So, yeah, yeah. It, it, it is. Well, we have a nephew the same age as him, and we thought uh, he'd enjoy it. So I thought, come out here, get a book for him, get it signed. I'd like to see his, his take on, uh, on what his father does and what it's like growing up with him, really. Aaron Trump is coming a long way to come and introduce his new book here in Berea, Ohio, during the Republican National Convention. Okay, like this. These are the jokes, okay? So you're gonna read all of these. It's a good one. High five. <laughs> I just have one question for you. Like, what made you write a book at such a young age? Where'd you draw your inspiration? Nice boobs. <laughs> Mind if I take a picture? <laughs> it's from my dad. I think it'd make his wall. <laughs> what was it like meeting Baron Trump? Well, he is his dad's child, for sure. <laughs> Hello. How are you? Very I'm very you. good. Nice to meet you. I'm from uh, Broadview Heights, Ohio, and I've never like to... heard of it. Oh, well. <laughs> I hope it's nicer than Cleveland. Oh, really? Yeah, well, it's a nice suburb, sure. Well, yeah. Cleveland's kind of a rat hole, so. Really? You think so? My dad called it a sewer. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, yeah, he named it. But now they've cleaned a lot of it up. Yeah, I love the people of Cleveland. Do you really? I love the blacks. Do you love the blacks? Sure. No one loves the blacks more than me. I would. And my dad. And your dad. <laughs> my dad loves the Hispanics. My nanny here is a Hispanic. That's your nanny? Oh, yeah. yeah. What's her name? Yeah, Maria. Como esta? <laughs> Get him out of here, pronto. <laughs> what made you decide to write a book about dad? My dad's advisors told me to. And what did dad say when, once he read it? He said, your ghostwriter did a very good job. <laughs> He's very honest. He is. It's great to just have him talk to me. How's the crowd out there? Any Muslims? <laughs> Thank you for sharing information about your dad and your home life with him. Oh, my pleasure. Especially as someone so hot. I bet you had one hell of a figure in your prime. <laughs> Not really. How many babies did you squeeze out? Are you excited about the possibility of being in the White House? Not really. My tree house is bigger than the White House. Oh, my. Wow. You're Maybe cute, you? though. Well, thank you. So are you. <laughs> I wish I was 20 years older. Of you course, by then, you'd be useless. <laughs> oh, dear. We'd be so old. Yeah, we're good. Thanks. Have a nice day. You, too. He wasn't going to share any secrets with me, so he told me I had to read the book. What okay. else did he tell you? Um, he told me, uh, I was cute. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. You're an interesting guy. What's it like to be ordinary? <laughs> I wouldn't know. <laughs> Wait, are you a billionaire? No. You're probably gonna be the first kid in history to have to take a step down with his house. The White House is a dump. Do you have a pet to bring there? You've got to have a pet in the White House. Well, my nanny's my pet. <laughs> Maria does a lot of tricks, if you know what I mean. Anyway, it's the best book after the Bible and the Art of the Deal. I've read the Art of the Deal long before you were thought of. When Tiffany was five years old, your dad signed it for me. I've never met her. You never met Tiffany? She's the other blonde one, right? <laughs> yeah, she's the other blonde one. The one who's only medium hot? Oh, my God, you're not right. You are not right. Well, you have to admit, my older sister's pretty bangable, right? She's beautiful. We'll give her that. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> you're making me sick. <laughs> Get him out of here. So how's Cleveland been so far? It's kind of a dump. Uh, you know? We've been kind of living that way, at least, at least until this year. Cavs. Yeah, Cavs, whatever. <laughs> it was great meeting you. You too. Wait, who do I have to bang to get a juice box around here? 
Christ's sakes. Um. What's the matter? You're out of time, buddy. All right. Thanks for coming. How was it? I've never, ever heard a kid that age say something like that to me before. What did he say? I'd rather not say, because this is television. You're pretty hot for a mom. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Seriously, you could be a 10 if you moved to a small enough town. Wait, let me see your shoes. My shoes? Snikes? Whoa. You're out in public, toots. Flats are for yard work. Hey, do you still breastfeed? I don't. No. I do. You do? Can you blame me? Have you seen my mom's boobs? No, I have not. He talked about his parents, or well, his mom a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, he seems very beyond his years. Okay, in what way? What do you mean? Um, just a very, maybe more mature than than some 10-year-olds. Okay. Just in his subject matter. You have a great family. I watch your specials on uh, uh, Barbara Walters or one of these shows where it showed your whole family. And yeah. So your dad is, uh, I think your dad gets a bad rap. My dad is the best. He hired me a clown for the, my birthday. He did? Yeah. I knew it was Chris Christie, but I played along. Mm -hmm. Do you have kids? I have two kids. Do you spank them? I spank my five-year-old in the butt, yeah. A little wow. bit. Wow. My dad never hit me. He has people for that. Yeah. I'm hoping your dad gets in office. And nice. I, we're we're we, we, uh, really hoping for him, and I love what he says, and we need uh, borders, language, culture, and we need just, you know, country needs to get back on track. Yeah. So you don't like Hillary? Crooked Hillary? I can't stand Hillary. And yeah. I'm, you know, she should be in jail. How about her looks? Ugh. I think I can't stand her more than even her looks or hearing her talk. Have you seen her ankles? No. I've seen skinnier hula hoops. Does she have uh, three knees on each leg? Um. OK, that's a little bit inappropriate. <laughs> Watch my summer election special, now streaming, only on Hulu. Hulu, we cover the elections like a fly on shit. Which reminds me, it's time for lunch.